There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge because of all the populous trees which grow there. This is where we're from. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. We're glad you stopped by. In this episode, we'll share our woodshed build that was completed in the summer of 2021. We did this for a few reasons. One, we had firewood piles covered by tarps that had leaked, so the firewood was starting to mold, and we wanted to fix that issue by constructing a more permanent structure to house the wood. Two, we had some concrete slabs from an old sidewalk that we decided to repurpose into a floor for the structure. And three, we had the Woodland Mills sawmill ordered and we wanted to try this construction technique to see if a similar building style could be used to construct the saw shack that we'll eventually be putting up to house the sawmill permanently. We started by clearing a spot. There was a wood pile here previously, so that firewood was moved to a different pile and also some was stored in a trailer and in two truck beds while the woodshed build was occurring. Then we cut and peeled the popple posts. We decided on six total, three in the front that were seven feet tall and three in the back that were five feet tall. These logs ended up sitting at the building site while we prepared the area and finished the woodshed floor. In that time, they got moldy on us. Oh well. Um, we wondered if this could have been prevented. If anyone watching knows, drop a comment below. We'd love to prevent molding on future projects if possible, and we would love to hear your thoughts on how to do this. Next, we prepared the area by putting in a base layer of sand. This worked well and made it easy to level this spot. The floor of the woodshed was created by repurposing these concrete slabs. They were ridiculously heavy and a pain to move. And apparently we were so over it by the time we finished the floor that we didn't even bother to snap a photo of it. Oops. Oh well. So this is the best picture of the floor we had, even though it is much further along in the building process. To fill in the gaps between the concrete pieces, we packed them with sand, and that really worked well and turned out nice. To hold the posts in place and to prevent kicking out on the bottom, we installed rebar pegs. Holes were drilled into the concrete and these short rebar pieces were hammered in, leaving approximately four inches of rebar peg exposed. Then corresponding holes were drilled in the bottom of each post. This worked really well and the resulting standing posts are very stable. It might be hard to see in this photo, but a line level was used to ensure the tops of all the posts were even. Next, we place the cross beams. To create a better fit, the bottom of each cross beam was notched out to fit the top of each post. Then, to fasten the cross beams in place, we secured them with 3 8 6 inch long leg bolts. Rafter boards were made using the chainsaw mill. They did turn out good, but it was a time consuming process to make all of these. To finish out the woodshed, a tin roof was installed as well as slab wood siding on three of the walls. The tin was also salvaged and repurposed, and the only real expense that we had into this shed was the hardware. The slab wood actually came from the cants that we milled during our first two runs of this sawmill. The final feature we added was a special kindling rack that hangs suspended from the rafters. This was constructed from a couple of old pallets that we had laying around and it is really convenient. The only problem we've encountered with this woodshed is that quite a bit of snow still gets in through the open front side. We may need to fashion some sort of removable tarp wall to help keep the snow out. Overall though, we are very pleased with how this $30 woodshed turned out. If you have questions, email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com, or plip plop a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll do a short feature on how to make your own shiplap using a woodland mill. 
Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate every one of your views. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll catch you next time. Bye.